Hello, this is Clayton Balmas here, and I'm your teacher with our video classroom here at Synmax University at SynmaxPerformanceLubricants.com. What we're going to discuss here today, as you can see on our screen, is our coolant system presentation focusing on BTU heat transfer and foam uh, performance. Now, and prevention. And what we're doing here today is just kind of to concentrate on the foam prevention. Now, one of the things that we have to look at is this. Say, Clayton, why is this so important and how does it come from? Well, I'll tell you about that. The reason it's so important is because foam, when you have an air bubble, it has 10 times the amount of compressibility of the fluid and it causes problems. If you get, uh, and the reason for this is you're always going to be making air bubbles. You're always going to be making them. They're going to be in your hot spot areas and your other areas, because we have to remember in an engine, some places are really hot, like in the cylinder head area and the exhaust area, and then the other places are really cool. So you're always going to be having bubbles. So what we got to do is try to have the chemistry eliminate them best as possible. Now, historically, what a lot of people have done is they almost double up on the chemistry of what they have to do. And to simplify this, uh, here at Synmax, we concentrated on, on, on this and we put the, the exact amount of concentrate into the premix and then what happened there is that you got a one, you got 7.0 pH balance, you've got the exact amount of concentrate and you're always going to be going. Now what we're going to, going good. Now what we're going to do here is we've got two products nationally known, uh, the red and the purple, and you say is that their name? Well, that's their color. So there you go. And uh, so we're going to try this out. So what happens here is that we're, we're going to pour it in about two cups of water. And then how some people, get this is about a one ounce. All right, we're going to get kind of good there. All right, pour some in there. Now, why are you doing that, Clayton? That looks a little extra. Well, what happens when you double up on the, on the chemistry? Some people do that. I said, well, one bottle didn't work. Well, golly, let's try two bottles. And then I always follow the instructions in the bottle, Clayton. I said, okay. Well, what's that mean? Well, it says on the back you've got to use tap water. I mean, in fact, on the back of this bottle it says don't use distilled water or soft water. Okay, well, that's, that's their chemical choice. So let's have some good old Illinoisan tap water here. we got good tap water up here. Here's about two cups. Here's about two cups. Say, so Clayton, what's this mean? Well, one of the places that the uh, gestation and, and foam bubbles happens is right at the power, uh, uh, excuse me, not the power steering, right at the water pump. That's where everything is grinding around, okay? So we're going to take the water cooler premix. You don't have to worry about somebody making a mistake, doubling up on you, or whatever you got to do. Now also, if you, what, Clayton, what if I got a street car? Well, guess what? You can use this in your street car and your diesel just as well. What you can do is you can use one gallon of this to one gallon of your uh, glycol or, or antifreeze that you're using. So this can be used in your street car as well. So here we go. You might say, Clayton, I ain't got three oysterizer blenders. Well, I can understand that. So we can do a test kind of similar to that right now. Just go to your shelf and where you're at, and you can just kind of like, you know, shake them up. You know, just shake them up and see what they do. And if you, you find here, we'll shake up this little bottle and say, Clayton, that's just a little bottle. Okay, well, we'll try real hard. Ah, come on, come on, make some foam, make some foam. Well, it didn't that much. So here we go. We're going to get these blenders up to uh, whip. Okay, we like whip, all right? And as again, this simulates a water pump with no pressure in the system, all right, to see how everything works.
Well, they're doing pretty good here. We're at about 30 seconds here, so we're going to stop in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I said, Clayton, that one didn't sound as loud. Well, it was made better about 20 years ago, so it still works good, okay? <laughs> so what we're going to see here is how the fluid, the actual fluid chemistry, is able to work and disperse the bubbles. Now, you can, you can just, I want, I'm going to let the product speak for itself. As again, here is the water cooler premix, okay? This is with the exact proper water, proper chemistry, everything that you have to do to it. This here is the pink stuff. Okay, and it's, it's working very well, and, it, and it's trying to disperse it, and here is the, well, purple stuff, and, and you can see that it's doing it. Now, as we said, you are guaranteed 100% proper mixture when you use the premix, okay, with the right water and the right everything. So, uh, check out our presentation, and we're going to be talking more about this with our, our coolant system. Uh, we're very serious on wanting to make this work. So this is Clayton Balmas here at uh, Synmax University at SynmaxPerformanceLubricants.com. I want to thank you, and we're going to see you at our next session. So bye now.